Good morning, Ragnarok Ready family. So last year, as part of my emergency preparedness, I started to take gardening and planting a lot more serious than I have in previous years. And I was disheartened to find out how complicated it really is. Especially for somebody who is a novice as I am. I've tried a variety of different things. I've tried coffee plants. I've tried um, onions, garlic. Both of those turned out well. Lettuce. Coffee plant died pretty much instantaneously. And then I was looking into blueberry plants because I really like blueberries. And they also fit into my ketogenic lifestyle. However, I was disheartened to find out that blueberry plants prefer to have an acidic soil, which is very difficult to maintain unless you're able to stay on top of it from what I've been able to see. Now, where I live in Utah, I have a very naturally alkaline soil. So that's something I really need to look into when gardening, planting, anything like that, is to make sure that the uh, pH levels are proper to what I'm wanting to grow. Now, as an alternative, I ended up doing some research and I found out about some plant that's called a honeyberry plant, which, if I'm not mistaken, is native to Canada. However, I found out that a lot of people have had some great success growing honeyberry plants here in Utah. So I went and I looked up a couple of plants off of Etsy from some good sellers, bought them, planted them after having them potted for a little while, and so far they look like they've been doing pretty good. Pardon the pictures, I haven't had any time to weed this year, working 10 hour shifts. I plan on getting out and doing that relatively soon. As you can see, a couple of the honeyberry plants are starting to get some good growth after the winter season. So, I'm really hopeful with these plants. They're very similar to blueberries in taste and sort of similar to blueberries mixed in with raspberries. So I'm curious to see when these do start to sprout fruit, how that turns out. I'm excited to try it out, as well as probably do some uh, batches of freeze-drying these in the future. It's going to take probably several years for them to actually become fruit-bearing plants at their current rate of growth. Anyways, if you enjoy the sort of content, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is a Ragnarok Ready family where we are all about emergency preparedness. Thank you so much for watching.